Hi, it's um, Sunday night. I'm sitting here. Um, my friend has been in the hospital. She's 80 years old. And she's dying. I mean, she has heart problems and she's 80. So she's been having to take her nitroglycerin like every night. And her, she's estranged from her family too. And it's really sad because she follows the Lord. And for some reason, when you start following the Lord, people hate you without a reason. Um, I had to make a phone call to the granddaughter and the daughter who haven't seen her in years and years and years. And it's just sad. It's just really sad. Um, I called them. I wasn't supposed to call them until after she passed away. But in my heart of heart, I had to call, you know, just to let them know that she's on her way out. She's dying. And, um, you know, left the ball in their court to let them, you know, do what they want to do. Life is short. My mom wanted to see me before she died, and I'm glad I did. Um, life is short. You never know what's going to happen to anybody. And there's my little guy in the back with the angel looking over him. And there's my, there's my four children who I love with all my heart. And there's all my pictures of my family. And especially with the little ones, it's, they're, they're the ones that are hurt. That those are the ones that hurt the, the most. And in the Bible, people that mistreat children and hurt children are the ones that are going to get the worst wrath from God. So I just don't want to see anybody go in the fire pit. Um, it's time to everybody takes a look and reflect on what their life is all about. Um, life is short, life is short, and one of these days it's probably going to be too late, sorry to say, um, I I'm good with my salvation, I'm waiting on the Lord, um, oh no, just so I, just talk about my friend who's dying, who's estranged from her family and just had to make a difficult call here, a difficult call. Um, I wouldn't want anybody else to have to go through that. So, mend what you can.